Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago. But he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business. And that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC. And I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level. From the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine choke that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 168 pounds. Super! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 167 pounds. Fighting out of Tokyo, Japan, Jumbo. You begin your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves this my first time. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck. Doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, collar tie. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Real nice body kick land. Three minutes. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. He 
loaded up with that right hand, too. Just misses with the right hook. Oh, that right hand is on point. And he comes through with a big knee. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Single collar tie now. And he switches to Southpaw. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Big body kick land. Great punch. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. What a tricky head kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. He better raise that guard or he's going to fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. Nice shot to the body there. 20 seconds to go. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. And they set it. Round two straight ahead. look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, big head kick there. Oh, connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Real sneaky body kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you... Oh. oh, he might be out. He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. Nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here. And as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just missed with the left there. Great punch landed with so much power. And both guys really throwing with authority. Beautiful right punch, follows it up with the left. And he landed the right hand there. So 
he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. And there comes the separation now. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expected somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Big kick lands. Misses with that one. Oh, that's the thing, the score. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now. It's got to be over very soon. Oh, how about it? Left up and delivered the diving punch to the head. Oh, Dean steps in. He got it. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. We play the winner by knockout. Super. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce. Here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. <laughs>